Good morning. So today's uh, February 18th and we're back here on my way in. Um, I noticed my template was on, so I was a little bit low on coolant, so I had to uh, top some up. Good thing I had some here at the, at the cabin. So we're going to head out, check some traps, and uh, should be a good day. Nice and mild today, so easy for filming and don't have to bundle up. So we'll see you down there and we'll see how we make out. Bye for now. tell because they're, they're dragging their feet the whole time. Got real mild this week so probably come up. All right Let's see what we got here. So this year I'm doing great for uh, Martin to Fisher ratio. Before I would set traps and all I would catch was just Fisher. So the last few years I've just been trapping Fisher pretty hard and pretty much I hit my Fisher quota and my Martin are only half my quota are filled. So this year we're at a good, uh, good start. So I think I'm at three. About five. Five Martin now. The second one today, so. Alright, we got a bunch of traps set and some more, still a bunch of checks, so see ya down the line. Hey, okay. so we're adding our uh, farthest trap out. So I just passed, uh, I don't know, four of them, I guess, just to get out here. 
to the last one and now we're gonna backtrack. The old Bearcat, uh, she's running a bit hot today. We got a bad coolant leak, so I've been, uh, I had to dump some, a couple bottles of water in there just to try to get her back. So that won't be good. <clears throat> supposed to be mild tonight and uh, by the time I get back to the cabin I might have to dump a couple more bottles in there just to get back but I do have more coolant there so it was kind of dumb of me to not bring more coolant out here with me but this is what it is all right we're gonna walk in here and and uh, see what we got <clears throat> we got nothing. Thought we had something on this one just because the uh, the way the pine had the snow bunched up, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna pull this trap and work our way back. Hey guys, so we just uh, picked up another Martin here. Nice, perfect. I was using my action camera, but the video cut out right when I got just into the bush here. So, just show you here. So I'll pull him out. I'm gonna reset this and go from there. I know there was a, another Martin track not very far that way, probably maybe 200 yards fresh martin track so we just got snow a couple days ago so that's good all right well the old bear cats uh she's running a little hot today bad cool at leak so not good i'll have to probably borrow a machine for next next check probably looks like the uh heads are leaking or something ain't good all right see you down at the next one all right, last uh, trap for the day, check-in. We'll see. 
Hopefully we pick something up in this one. robbed again. Fucker. All right. Maybe I'll try something else. Set something else up in here. I'm just get robbing me like steady in here, so. Okay. Get her fixed up. Okay. All right. Get in here to check this one. This one we've been bait robbed on. Quite a bit. Some times here. And it looks like. That's not good. We missed, I guess. Oh. Mister, he got eaten on us. Get him in a squirrel. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was a squirrel. We didn't make it all that far, really, but she's fucking warm, though. I'm gonna let it cool down, have a little snack, and I'm gonna dump one more bottle of water in it just to get, I don't know, I'm probably, I would say, four kilometers, maybe five kilometers. And then another, I don't know, five to the cabin, maybe. We'll see. See how far we get. All right. See you online. All right. So we made it to this one. We got this one rebated. There's the moose bed right here. Right there. He was watching over my set, I guess. And uh, probably watched to get robbed. Because there was no bait left in there. But yeah, he walked right around here. Sorry. Look for a leak here. And then he walked through over here. And then he laid down again right here. It looks like he got up, went for a shit and a piss. Walk, walked through here. Went for another shit here. Another piss there. Another shit over there. So, it's crazy. He went for like five shits. A couple pisses. All right, one more to set, and that's enough for today. Just got to make her back to the cabin and get the fire soaked up, and we'll, uh, I'll show you maybe this next set. I, it's the first time I just whipped up this, this box, so cubby. I'll show you when I get it all set up. All right, see you at the next one. Hey, guys. So we got this. I just uh, whipped this up there this week. So there's a bait chamber. With some screen, I put a big nail in the tree just to hang it at the top. So that closes, I'll wire this shut here. Probably don't have to, but my luck of Fisher will probably open it up on me, still the bait. My luck with bait thieves, you know. There. So we're gonna try it just like this with no uh, no run pole or nothing. Hopefully we catch a, a male fisher. Now that I got my my fisher numbers down, I think 
because I'm six to one now, so that's better than before. So now that I've, I've hopefully got my numbers down, I'm gonna uh, probably start building these and setting these up and try to just take male fisher, give the females a break. That one other, that one fisher I did get this season, um, that was uh, a female. So we know the females will go in the vertical pipes, trap up. So trap down, vertical with no run pull. Hopefully we get refusals from the females. And uh, Martin, I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll see. Martin's okay because uh, I haven't been catching much Martin over the last few years. So it's mostly always been Fisher. Every time I set a, a trap for a bobcat, always a Fisher in it. Steady, steady. So one time I reset a bobcat trap cubby uh, five times by Fisher. So seems to be numbers seem to be down. So maybe that's that's good. All right. So I'm gonna try to make her down to uh, back to the trap camp and get a fire going and have some dinner. All right. Talk to you guys later. Good morning. So we got the roof shoveled off today. That'll shovel it off. Got this. The old tent shoveled off. Oh my god. Look at the chunk of ice I pulled out of there. Crazy. Should have done that a long time ago. Like back in like December. I think the last time I was here was December 8th for muzzleloader deer season. Um, yeah, so that's it. So we're going to be, it's mild today. Very mild. Yeah, see, so it's friggin... Wow, it's like plus one. Degree Celsius. Alright. Well, I'm heading out. <clears throat> and, uh, our cat should make it. I ended up putting some coolant in there, like some concentrate, so... Should be good, hopefully. Mixed with that water I had to put in there, unfortunately. So I got a couple leg holes to check and one more 220 to set on my way out. And that's it. In the collar. Till next time. Uh, so we ended up with uh, three, three Martins. So we're getting there. All right. Well, thanks for watching and see you next time. Hey, so on our way out, we just, uh, I pulled those two leg holds and we just set this, this see-through pen up here. Hopefully, hopefully it works out. You see it from my trail over there. And we'll walk around here. We got three snares set up. <coughs> All my bait, leftover bait for the wolf bait. I dumped it just over here because I can't get down to the west end. And there's too many deer down there. Another snare there. So there's three snares and I'll show you from the trail. There's one right there. So hopefully it, hopefully it works out. All right, well, I'm on my way out, so until next time, take care, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.